Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we had somebody asking us to make a content slider with Divi. Um, they were wanting to add the modules to a slider and so I've done it here and it's pretty easy to do. Unfortunately we can't actually do this just with the native Divi but I found a free plugin for you that you can download and get this done and it's really easy. I'll put the URL down below the video. Divi Life are giving away their little short code plugin and this is current of today which is the 1st of April and no this isn't an April Fool's joke <laughs> but I'll put this URL down there hit the get it for free put your email address in and they'll send you a link and, and download it. Once you have it go ahead and install it for anybody that doesn't know go to your plugins hit add new up there and when you download a plugin it's going to download as a zip file just hit the upload plugin button drag it over here or hit the choose file button and browse to it install and activate once you've actually got it activated you'll notice if you've got items in your Divi library if you go down to Divi down to Divi library you'll notice that you've got some short codes in here we can now use these short codes to build a slider of any content that we save in our library which is huge it's really really useful I've done this before with Divi Supreme which is a fantastic plugin premium plugin but this is a free option for you if you don't have the Supreme so anyway we'll come back and forth to this and I'll show you exactly how to do this so let's go back to our page I'm going to enable the visual builder I'm going to go in I'm going to delete this whole row that I've got here okay I'm going to leave that just there for a moment and we're going to come back and build our slider what I'm going to go do now so I'm going to go down I'm going to save a few of these things to our library I'm going to save this row do it just go to the little round icon just to the left of the trash can there we'll give it a name I think we call it three T CTAs three call to actions they haven't got the button but that's what they are obviously give it whatever name you want it's got to mean something to you and it's probably a good idea if it's unique Okay, once we've saved it to our library, let's go grab another one here. We've got three blurb modules here. So again, I'm going to save the whole row. You can save the just individual modules if you just want to use them individually. So let's call this three purple blurbs. Save that one to our library. I don't think I'll save anything there. And we've got these blue color changing ones here. We'll save that one as well. Again, I'm just going to save the row. And we'll save three blue blurbs. And let's just save this contact form. And again, I'm going to save the row here. Contact us, perhaps. There we go. We'll save that to library. All right. Let's create a slider at the top of the page here and we'll start inserting some of that content in it. So like I said, I've got a blank section up here. I'm going to add a row, a little green button. I'm going to put a single column in there. In that column, I'm going to build a slider. And there we are down here. And these are all just regular Divi modules. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. Plenty enough to build any site. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it'll give you an extra dozen modules to display your WooCommerce items. And that'd be a great thing for this short code too. So I'm going to just add a new slider. There it is right there. Just to make it a little more interesting, let's give it a nicer looking background. They've just added a gradient update, the advanced gradients now, so you can add as many or as few colors as you want to your gradients by just clicking on here choosing the color that's fine I'm gonna leave that just like that okay well let's start with our first slide right here I'm gonna go into the first slide you can give it a title if you want to and I don't want any background so if we go into the text right here Here's where you give it a title. If we go back to our library now, so 
to the layouts. Anybody didn't catch that down to Divi, Divi library. If I refresh this, we should have our new saved modules in there or saved rows. And here we are. So let's put that contact this in. I'm going to grab this short code right here. Control C, copy. I'm going to go back to my slide and in the content, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to paste it where the content was. Control V. And it's loading it. You can have a button if you want. If you don't want a button, which I don't for the contact form, you can just delete that and the button will disappear. And there's our contact form. And if things don't look quite as you remember them, they will do on the front end. It's because we're in the builder right here that sometimes it doesn't render it the same as it looked on the front. Okay, so we got contact us. Let's save that one. Let's add a new slide. And we'll do a similar thing. Go back to the library. Got three blue blurbs. Going to copy that one. Control C. Paste it in here. Control V to paste. Call it whatever you want. And again, if you want to, you can add a button by just having that there. I don't want a button on this, so I'm simply going to delete that writing right there. Great. Let's go in and put another one in there. I'm sure you get the idea now. Go back to our library. we got those little call to actions there. And I'll leave it there. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Give it your little title there. And let's leave it. Let's leave our button in there. Let's say learn more. Obviously, if you're using a button, you want to go down and put a button link in there. Obviously, put your link in there. If you're linking to your own site, best practice, open it in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab. That way, your site stays open. Okay, well, you see what we've done there. We've added three. Let's leave it there. So, it'll save our slide settings and go back into the main slider settings. And let's make this automatically roll every four seconds or so. So, to do that, go over to design down to animation and you'll find the automatic animation right here I'm gonna flip it on I'm gonna say every four seconds 4,000 milliseconds and I want it to stop when they put the mouse on it so I'm gonna leave that one off if you go down and you can't find your animation automatic animation probably means you're in one of your slide modules so make sure you're in the main slider settings not in one of your individual slides all right, well, we've got that. Let's save our changes and have a look at it on the front end. And we'll exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. We've got our little content slider. And of course, you can stop when they hover over it. It's going to stop. You can roll the next slider. You can use the pagination down the bottom if you want to. Of course, you can go in there and change the padding and the size. You can make it full width if you want to. Let's make it a little more sleek by making it full width. Let's go into our slider. I'll take a bit of the padding away, top and bottom. So I'm in the main slider settings. I'm going to go down to spacing. Just give it, say, 50 pixels top and bottom. I'll tighten it up just a little bit there. And also we can make it full width if you want to by simply going into the row. Save our changes here. Padding, you want to make sure you've taken any padding away from the section, the blue tab. Just go into spacing. We've got nothing there. That's fine. We want to do the same for the row here. Design. Spacing. Put a zero in. Hit the chain so it does the bottom. I'll buffer it up against the top and bottom of the section there. Let's make it full width by going into our sizing. Width, I'm going to drag that up to 100. 
going to copy it, control C and paste it in the max width below, control V to paste, or you can type it in if you prefer. Now we've got our slider is full width. And just to say that like there, this also means you can add a new module. Let's just add a new section down below also, make it a regular section. I'm going to use a single column. And let's just add, for sake of argument, let's add a blurb module. We'll use an icon instead of an image. Let's put in the first one I see. That's fine right there. Okay, let's just center this. Okay, and what we can do now, if you wanted to, we could go in there. We could simply add a short code after this and add some more content to it that way. If we go back to our layouts, let's use this one again. And we've got to actually put a row underneath our single module there. Pop that one in there. Now let's save our changes and we'll save our page changes. And there we go, there's our little full width slider right there. It's going through and we've got all our little services and modules and rows and things that we've put in there. And this one's got the extra button. And of course you can use your navigation arrows or your pagination. And if we roll down, there's our little blurb module with our three little call to actions underneath. So there you go guys, there's how to build a content slider and also another way of using that little short code. For a free plugin, really great. Like I say, I'll put this URL down below. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.